Limits, an Intuitive uh, Approach, Part 3. Well, here we have a um, rational function, a polynomial over a polynomial, as x heads to infinity. And we run into the problem that the top um, grows without bound, and so, do, so does the bottom. In other words, we're going to the indeterminate form, infinity over infinity. Now, there are two ways to handle this. Um, especially because we're dealing with a rational function. But I'm going to do it uh, a general method, uh, which is to look at the denominator, the highest power in the denominator, and divide both the top and bottom by that highest power, like this. I'm going to do this. okay? And I can split these fractions up into three pieces, each one of these uh, three pieces with a common denominator. And I want to remind uh, uh, everyone of this little limit here that we should know. This is an aside. Remember that the limit of a constant over x to the n, where n is greater than 0, as x goes to infinity equals 0. Okay, as, as this bottom grows without bound, and if the top's not growing or changing at all, then this thing is going to get to become a smaller and smaller number, or head to 0. Because when I start to simplify um, these uh, that expression that we were looking at, a moment ago, I end up with 3 minus 5 over x plus uh, 7 over x to the third power and on the top. And I end up with a similar kind of situation on the bottom, uh, constant 7 here and uh, 3 over x squared minus 1 over x to the third power. And each one of these little uh, rational functions here will go to 0 as x goes to infinity. And I end up with 3 minus 0 plus 0 over 7 plus 0 minus 0, which equals 3 sevenths. Now with a rational function, you can do what's called the lead term test and locate uh, the behavior, or locate the horizontal asymptote, or at least find the behavior of the function as x goes to infinity. And we know the highest powers dominate, so you can just look at 3x to the third power over 7x to the third power and realize just by looking at the function that it's going to go to 3 sevenths as x heads to infinity, which is uh, what we got down here. The advantage of this uh, procedure, though, of dividing by the highest power in the denominator is that uh, it works for any uh, uh, either a rational function or an algebraic function that's a fraction. And, uh, and you can use this often as x goes to infinity in other situations. Um, this next limit I'm going to do um, uh, 4 minus x plus 2 squared over x. Uh, as x heads to 0 from both sides, um, we notice that when we plug in x, uh, a 0 for x, we end up with 0 over 0, uh, another one of our indeterminate forms. And this just uh, cries out for us to do some algebra to change uh, the form of this expression. And probably what you'd want to do is maybe square that um, x plus 2 and then simplify. And that's exactly what I do. I square that uh, x plus 2, and then I remove the parentheses, uh, distributing the negative 1. I see I have 4 minus 4, and that certainly helps. Simplifies it a lot, and I end up with, with this. And I can notice I can factor an x out of the top, cancel it with the bottom. And I end up with a pretty simple function here, uh, negative x minus 4 as x heads to 0. So as x heads to 0, it's pretty clear that this is going, getting closer and closer to negative 4. The idea is that negative x minus 4 and this much more complicated function are, uh, share all the same points except at 0. And of course, we know with limits, it doesn't matter what happens at 0 as long as you know what happens as x approaches 0.